Welcome back, everyone. When the temperatures go up, so unfortunately do energy bills water bills and many other home related costs. Well, joining me now is Michael Semen with the Wisconsin Bankers Association with a few ideas of how to stretch your home improvement budget this summer. Mike, thanks so much for joining us today. You bet, thanks for having me here. All right, so tell us a little bit about some of the free things that folks can do first off. You bet, there's two really simple things that you can do. And the first is unplug, unplug, unplug. And uh, that means not only just figuratively, you know, turning the TV off or turning the video games off and going outside, but literally, unplug your uh, appliances that you're not using on a regular and day-to-day -day basis. The average household has about 40 appliances that are plugged in at any moment in time, and uh, that accounts for about 5% of your total energy bill. Wow, you don't even think about that. I, I always am leaving in, you know, when I'm plugging my phone, and that's one of the things that's a really big culprit for me. You always think about unplugging when you go on vacation, but even just going yeah, to work. Exactly. The VCR that I have in my basement that my kids watch old Disney movies on actually costs <laughs> about $12 a year to operate. I'm coming to your house to watch those Disney so, movies. There you go. There you All go. right, very good. So what else can folks do? You bet the hot water heater, you know, right now, of course, it's been very warm outside so when we get up in the morning we're not sprinting for uh, the shower in the in the, the cold air mm -hmm. so what you can do is you can turn the, the temperature of your hot water heater down to about 130 degrees maybe just slightly less turning that down from 140 to 130 is going to save you about three to five percent in maintenance costs as well and that certainly adds up that's for sure so those mm -hmm. are two of really great uh, tips what are some other tips that folks can do you bet the other items kind of in the, are in the uh, an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure and that has to do, uh, first of all, with your filters, air conditioning filters, furnace filters. You want to keep those clean. A clean filter means an efficient machine. Efficiency equals mm -hmm. cost savings. So then you take a look at, besides the, the filters, you want to take a look at maybe uh, programmable thermostats. Do you have a programmable thermostat or not? You can find those uh, as low as uh, $20, maybe in some areas as high as several hundred dollars. You want to keep a constant air temperature so that your rooms are not uh, fluctuating quite a bit. Light bulbs, another thing that we, uh, we hear about quite a bit. Do you have energy efficient light bulbs in your house? Um, they are slightly uh, more expensive, maybe between two and three dollars a light bulb. But when you take a look at your whole house, add them up over the life of the use of that light bulb, it could actually save several hundred dollars. Absolutely. Going green, such a big thing and yeah. trend these days. Mike, thanks so much. Some excellent tips. If you want to have and learn more budget tips, go ahead, just head to NBC15.com and click on news links. Stay with us. Dan, I'll have a final check on your weather right after the break.